The court case out of Vancouver, the Canada Revenue Agency is asking an appeals court to allow it to continue to audit a B.C. millionaire who helped wealthy Canadians move tens of millions of dollars through tax havens. Zach Dubinsky has been investigating Fred Sharp and is here with me live to tell us more about what he has learned. Good morning, Zach. Morning, Heather. What have you tell us more about this investigation? So this gentleman, Fred Sharp, he's a former lawyer from Vancouver, and he's been on the CRA's radar since at least 2013. And the CRA got really interested in him in 2016 because his name was all over the Panama Papers. They started auditing him really intensely, and they produced a draft report a couple of years later, which we have obtained. And it kind of sets out this large, sprawling international organization that they say Fred Sharp was at the head of. What was this organization doing? Well, they say it had at least $338 million flowing through its accounts in Canada. They say it had accounts in tax havens around the world. And they say that what it was doing was allowing wealthy Canadians who had money stashed in tax havens to bring that money back to Canada, to spend it on things like luxury homes, private club memberships, airplane tickets, or new car purchases, but to do it in a way that it would stay off of the radar of the CRA. So some of the methods the CRA claims were used were things like fake loans, or what they call sham loans. Uh, there were also money that was brought back to pay these people's credit card bills. And so now the CRA is going after not just Fred Sharp, but a number of his associates as well. So in court today, what do you expect will play out? So Sharp and nine of his clients, associates, and some of these companies in one case that he set up, they challenged the CRA's audits. At every step of the way, when the CRA was trying to get their financial records or their bank records, uh, they launched 90 different challenges in court. Today, that all comes to a head in the Federal Court of Appeal at a hearing in Vancouver. Uh, the CRA is saying, we want to be able to move ahead with these audits unhindered without these challenges from Fred Sharp and his associates. And Sharp and the others, they're saying the government has violated our constitutional rights. It is secretly trying to uh, criminally investigate us using its civil audit powers, and that is illegal. And they'll be fighting to have the judges of the Court of Appeal uh, throw out or at least handcuff in a serious way the CRA's investigation. Zach Dubinsky, thank you very much for all of that coming in for that live report. And there's much more on the story online. Zach has written a piece that is on the front page for you now. You go to cbcnews.ca.